fast am I. I'm going to read Ilveri by Cushig. But before I do, I just want to comment on the fact that Ilveri is something we're all familiar with today. But if Hall Cain is to believe, be believed, it is very much different from the way it was celebrated in the past. I think we're very tame now because he said, the old Ilveri, the true Ilveri, the real, pure, savage, ridiculous, sacrilegious old Ilveri is gone. I myself just came in time for it. I saw the last of it. Nevertheless, I saw it at its prime, for I saw it when it was so strong that it could not live any longer. And he goes on to tell about when he was a boy in Mackled, he was taken to the church at Mackled for the Ilveri there. And it was at the time when Cushig's father was the vicar. So I sometimes surmise that perhaps they met at an Ilveri. I don't know, but I'm sure they were acquainted. What he did say about, uh, about Mackled was, the parish was longer than any other upholding the rough traditions. <laughs> but I think that Cushig's poem is perhaps not as severe or savage as he portrays. And she wrote this. Do you mind them owl eel verries with the holland all the berries and carvel's going a singing on the night? And Tommy Danny Quilliam and Quair all the Jew and Ilium with candles in their faces for the light? And marching up the aisle singing solemn all the while with all the parish listening to them there? And parson smiling cheerful but watching very careful to keep the ones reminded where they were. <laughs> there was teens of candles blazing and all the people gazing, with parsons once so sturdy in the pew, and church all titivated and tasty decorated, and tossed up middle and stylish at them too. And Billy Boyd the Bithig and Johnny Bob the Kithig, them was good tremendous for a tune. Pretending at a loss just to give the choir a toss, but stramping to be at it very soon. One time when I was working away at Coolney Urken, getting holly with the rest for the day, so bait was I with slumber, and carvel such a number, that down upon the floor I slipped and lay. When I awakened by and by, the moon was in the sky, and all had gone and left me on the floor, the frecken that a massy, I squealed like any lassie, nor durst move an inch to reach the door. For everywhere be howly, the shadows were around me. I was just gone, fainted with the fear. And true as I am talking, I saw them shadows walking, like keeping time with tunes I couldn't hear. Though, being Christmas morning, or near enough the dawning, I might have knew they couldn't harm at all. For isn't that night holy that brought the babe so lowly, the very basis doing obedience in the stall? But there I lay the frecken till one big shadow beckoned, and then I clent like lightning out of that. And coming up the aisle was the parson with a smile. Dear me, he said, I had forgot me hat. Thank <laughs> you.